Martha Washington was George Washington's confidant. She was a person very absorbed in duty and very capable, but she didn't like that. She called herself a prisoner of state. By the same token that every step Washington took to find the office, so, in a very real sense, can it be said that everything Martha Washington did, likewise. It was a business-like relationship, but not, I think, without affection. I think they had deep respect and affection for each other. Williamsburg is as close to her hometown as Martha would ever get. She owned most of this whole block going back a couple of acres, which means she owned a huge chunk of what Williamsburg was. There was a lot of tragedy in Martha Washington's life. Of course, she lost her first husband. She was raised a rich woman. Now, what that means in 18th century is not necessarily what it means today. When she marries George Washington, she brings with her to Mount Vernon 12 house slaves, and that is really almost an unimaginable luxury. It take her 10 days to travel here to Valley Forge from Mount Vernon in her carriage with her slaves and servants with her, and this was a difficult journey. Martha's experience had really prepared her to become the first First Lady.